unfortunately I could not beat him. Well, I actually almost beat him game four with, with Little Mac, but then I, <laughs> Little Mac just sucks on getting back on stage. Basically what happened was he got me with a back throw, and I was like, and he was holding F smash, and I was like, I could counter, and I could go to game five, or I can air dodge, and hope he like still holds it, and then like maybe throw a jab just to get myself out of there. And like, and then AWOL ca capitalized it. Either way, it was like, it was a, it paid off for AWOL because <laughs> he did not want to go to game five. So, <laughs> so now AWOL is gr graciously waiting for who to play either Vito or uh, better school. And and Vito is going chic. He said he was gonna go chic today. So hopefully. Hopefully he gets some promising results with Sheik. I would completely understand if he goes Bayo or Isabel or pretty much Peach. Yeah, any of his regular names. Mm -hmm. yes. Sheik is still relatively new for Vito. Yeah. And I think the thing too is like if you want to like if you want to get good with the character, you just kinda have to do a tournament with it. Yeah, you gotta you can't just like sit at home laughing it out, you have to go out and gain experience with them. Yeah, you actually have to risk those losses from people you would normally not lose to just to... And that was nice. That was... And, like, seeing Vito today, he is... He very clearly understands how Bouncing Fish works because he's gotten a lot of kills with mm -hmm. it. He's definitely showing that Sheik is not a slouch of a character to sleep on. Yeah. Granted, she is not, like, terrifying as she was in Smash 4, but she can still get the job done. So right now, he, he knows he doesn't want to pressure... Venerous' shield because that out of B option with the uh, super jump punch will kill. Yep, so. he basically just wants to keep his distance pressure with needles, get percent in if he thinks he's safe. And yeah, like right there. Like right there. Got a bit aggressive and got punished for it. Mm -hmm. And I think, I don't know like the frames on it, but I imagine it's gotta be the same as like Mario's and Dr. Mario. Yeah, it's a very quick one. Oh, and combos the down tilt into the up smash. Yes. Yeah. Definitely up, um, up tilt is like the key tool for Sheik. It's kind of like that. This is gonna be my percent rack up. So, I'm pretty sure that's up tilt. I'm pretty sure up tilt's the one where it's like Falco or Falcons where yeah. she lifts the leg up and pulls it down. Yeah, because I think you kind of do like a motion with like F tilt to up tilt where it's like you could turn that to a three hit on low percents, but. It's a very good low percent combo game, but once she seems to get too much percent, she yeah. starts to struggle with getting kills because none of her combos will work anymore. And I mean, you don't want any character to have rage, but you definitely don't want Luigi to have rage. Yeah, no, Luigi already hits very hard. With the yeah, he's and just rage. like that. Yeah. And there it goes stock two for Vito, and suddenly he's behind. And I think it's a shame, too, that, like, I think she's, despite all these, like, can't kill, I think she actually is a fairly balanced character now. I think she could just use not more kill options, but like a couple more damage options instead of yeah. the one she has already, because she has trouble dishing out damage most of the time. Mm -hmm. We don't feel like she's having troubles with that, I think. Yeah. And, and it has to be... Ooh, that was nice. Ooh, that, was that was a was good vanishing. A vanish up B, yeah, that yeah. covered every option Luigi had. But yeah, no, just the whole fact that, like, you can outplay someone... But, and they'll be at like 200% and they just get their like kill move right and Sheik's dead. I know other characters like Bayonetta suffer that fate where like... And speaking and I, of that, I think that's the stock from... Vito from and that... Vito. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's he just got it. Now. Yeah, I think he was ensuring and that was that nice. Was good. Game was one for Vito. Some very good uh, <laughs> offstage play from Vito there at last stop. Vito's definitely trying to hold it down for North Balfour right now, which is really good. <laughs> and meanwhile, Venerus is like, it's all good. It's all good, he says. I, he's, he's like, you've seen nothing yet. Yeah, he has fun with the game. He just enjoys playing the game. And I mean, I, that, I feel like that's an important line at a tournament. It's like, I mean, sure, everyone wants to come out and win. But you also got to have fun. Because if you're there to win and not have fun, you're not going to have a great time. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but if you... Just do the best you can. You hope you did better than last time. Exactly. Because that's where the salt really kicks in, right? If yeah. you just give yourself super high expectations when you really shouldn't. He's got, like, I guess the best way to do tournaments, like, strategize your tournaments, is, like, 
look at my people, look at my options around me, right? Will I beat them, you know? And that's... Like and confidence it's, is a key part, but there's, there's like a fine line there where you have to be confident in your play, but you also just have to be able to accept when your play wasn't enough. So, AWOL, my guy, if you had to pick between uh, Venerous and Vito here, who would you have play? Uh, Venerous was pretty convinced he would win if Vito went streak for this, so kind of tempted to say he's got it. Yeah, no, that's fair, but like... I don't know, Vito's making Sheik look scary right now, that's for sure, so. That's kind of thing he does. <laughs> yeah, no, he makes, like, any character I didn't think would be scary, scary. Like, I remember Isabel, I didn't think that character was scary, and I learned that the hard way, so. <laughs> All right, now they're, like, even stock, essentially. Just game one? Game two, Vito won game one. Pretty much just trading kids right now. Oh, that was that was a nice setup. That uh, right now they're just feeling each other out. So they're just relatively equal. Playing a good neutral, trying to find mm -hmm. openings, not being able to capitalize on much with these characters. Exactly. Ooh, and that was nice. That was that was a difference maker to death there. It was a very dangerous situation for the EG there. Mm -hmm. just makes it back on stage and tries to finish with the F smash. But Oh, and that oh, was a nice F, F air. The tech off of the stage and there goes the balance. And just like that, it's all about just racking up damage now. Oh, never mind, it's even game. It's a perfectly even game now, Vito. Vito has a chance, Vito has a chance. Mm -hmm. And I know this isn't the last game because it's the best of five. Yeah. It's definitely a tight game, that's for sure. Feels a lot closer than the last game did, despite how close last game actually was. Yeah, I think it was just like the bouncing fish, like definitely helped. And it looks like Venner's realized, hey, I gotta like watch out for the Sheik, so because he's definitely playing a lot better in this final stock. And just like that, we're one yeah, one. Down here to stop his momentum, and Venner's capitalized on that with the back air. I always forget how strong Luigi back air is. It feels like it shouldn't do that. Much Very true. Back, but. Yeah, because I have to play either Little Willy or Scrump, so that'll be... That'll be fun. I can't remember if that's three out of five or not, because then after that, I play... I would play the loser of this set. I, I don't know. Because uh, I think Digi and Tilter, so I'll have to play on that side, too. and Tilter playing on the other setup right now. Oh no, I think they already played, I think. Tilter. <laughs> okay. Here, I'm just gonna go check how bracket is, I'll let you. Okay, back to solo commentary from Pasta. Vito, both players doing relatively good neutral, doing safe aerials, trying to keep on each other's toes. And Vito misses the bouncing fish and gets interrupted by Nair. This is a uh, Vito has uh, Venerous off stage now, but wasn't able to capitalize off of it like he has in the past. Oh, Venerous going for the down taunt. Uh, oh, and C clinches the stock with the up smash read. Oh, and just and then just immediately runs into an F smash and misses a green missile, but gets back to the stage because of it. But she keeping the pressure on, keeping him off stage. Some very nice off stage play from she from Vito Sheik here, showing he's still no slouch, even though he was a bit behind there. But now he's pretty close to being almost even. Venerous gets out of the uh, bouncing grenade. <laughs> oh, 
very close two frame there that he was trying to go for with the down taunt. Vito kind of falling behind a bit, gets taken out by the Luigi Cyclone. But getting a good fair string on him, and Veneris counters with a fair of his own. trying to find some kind of kill option here in order to seal out the stock and balance it out again. Text the missile, but ooh, narrowly makes it back from that. Well, that was a very nice up B from Veneris there. That kept him safe and grabbed ledge off of it so he couldn't get punished for it. finally managing to seal the stock out at 123%. Venner is basically just fishing for kill options here, hitting the smash attacks. Oh, and the back throw takes the last stock. That's 2-1 for Venerus right now. going Isabel now, not feeling as chic anymore. Oh, Vito with a very nice fair string there, keeping the pressure on. Very nice fishing rod. You know, getting a lot of traps with the gyroid mine. Oh, and takes the kill with down air. And taunts? Vito's Isabel looking very nice right now, whereas Venus's Luigi seems to be having a bit of trouble with the matchup adjustment. Oh, a very nice parry from... Oh, that was a scary missile. I thought Isabel was going to take a fair bit of damage from that. But it went just over. Oh, a very nice job getting back to ledge from Daenerys there. Good tech from Vito, getting, keeping the stock and not letting the stage affect him. Vito showing just how good his Isabel is compared to his Sheik, because this is a very different feel from the last two games that we saw from these two. Veneris spot dodges and finally takes out the stock with the down smash. Oh, and that was a very good nair that sealed up the game there for Isabella and Vito. Making it an even 2 2 right now. Bringing it all the way to game five. Hmm? Load up your PM setup. You want me to start loading up for you? Just because we're going to be going over time a little bit, so I'm not trying to get out here as soon as possible. Okay. Okay. I'm going to commentate. 
Okay, and Luke will be taking over commentary because we have to go do cleaning. What's the score? Uh, two two. <laughs> All right. We are at game five right here of semifinals, and I will actually be fighting the loser. So I've got a bit of a, I've got a bit of a stake in this game. Uh, whoever loses this game is going to be facing me and probably beating me. But you know, miracles happen. Okay, so we got the Isabel, and of course, Friday's classic Luigi. I'm just going to call him Friday because I like that. I like how it sounds. Uh, this Isabel from Vito. Uh, you do not want to sleep on it. It will do bad things to you. Uh, so, both players getting a decent amount of percent. Friday is always going to be looking. Ooh, looking for that drag down off stage. Looking for the gimp as well here. All right, but um, Vito managing to hit off stage. Friday with the stage spike and manages to spike Vito, taking his first stock. Vito's going to be looking to uh, to bring this thing back. Spacing out Friday, good with uh with his projectiles, looking for the Gimp, of course. Uh, hits Friday with the Lloyd Rocket, which is going to bring him at a scary percent. The Friday recovering with the Misfire. Of course, that's one of Friday's skills, is that he can get a Misfire almost whenever he needs it, it seems. But the Umbrella will be enough to take Friday's stock. Vito bringing things back. Destroying Friday's percent lead. Both characters just dancing around each other in neutral. Friday with the up B will be taking Vito's stock. Absolutely ridiculous up B out of shield. Vito's really got to watch the spacing on that. Vito now down to his last stock in this game five. Looking to be a scary scenario. Friday at a relatively comfortable percent. Elizabeth's kill options are not the strongest. Still managing to recover even after getting hit by that down. Oh, does not reverse the up B, which I assume was his plan. Vito with the hammer pressure into down smash will be enough to kill, and this is still winnable for either character at this point. Although Vito does have to be wary of up Bs. bit of a tough spot right here. Gets jabbed by Luigi. Luigi gets the spot dodge. Vito at, at now at a solid kill percent. Looking to get more percent on Friday here. Just to, to solidify that kill. Vito not taking any risks, risks here at ledge. Not going to fall into any stray up bees. Looking to space this man out with all the tools in Isabelle's arsenal. Hits him with the Lloyd Rocket, of course. But Friday hits that downbeat. It will not be enough to kill Vito, but he's at a scary percentage at this point. But Vito's keeping Friday far away from where he wants to be. Vito just spacing him out with slingshots, being patient, not getting hit by any of Friday's attempts. Both players now at kill percents. This is going to be the final stock of this set right here. Friday gets the thing Vito with the Lloyd Rocket putting Friday in a precarious scenario. Friday approaches with the Fireball, manages to make it back on stage, and the back throw is not enough to kill Vito. Okay, both characters just looking for whatever final hit they do. And Friday gets him with the down smash. Vito will be sent to loser's bracket to fight me. Friday will move on to fight Steven.